just Berlin as the destination for this edition of Global Underground because I thought this is the epicenter of electronic music and techno in particular and the story has not been told yet. So I thought with me being German and Berlin being very close to my heart, this was the obvious choice to make. First I went through my entire record collection to find all the records that give me a bit of that Berlin feel. Um, regardless of when they were produced, so I went through old records and new records. So I put them all on a big pile of maybe three, four hundred records. And then from there I tried to weave a story together. For Global Underground Berlin, I really wanted to create an authentic dance floor experience. So I made both records just the way I would have DJ in a club in Berlin. My idea behind the mix was to show the two sides of Berlin clubbing. On the one hand, the daytime parties, the open air, the sunny happy vibe. And on the other hand, the night parties, the intense warehouse nights with banging techno, basically the Berkheim vibe. And each of those two mixes tells an individual story, day and night. Berlin is a city of transformation. It went from being shattered in ruins after World War II to becoming a divided city, to becoming a reunited city. So that transformative spirit lives on in the people and what they do. After the wall came down, there was a lot of space for new initiatives to grow. This is an excellent breeding ground for the kind of creative opportunism that uh, Berlin is known for. There's constant uh, rejuvenation, there's constant reinvention going on. It's a typical Berlin DIY mentality that you still see everywhere. The city is full of cultural surprises. For the photo shoot, I wanted us to visit a couple of landmarks that were really important to me. The first one, obviously, is the Berlin Wall. In 1989, when I was a kid, I saw the wall come down and it changed my life forever. I went from not being able to travel anywhere to becoming a global citizen and being able to travel to what is now more than 80 countries. I also really wanted to visit uh, the TV tower and have a picture of that because that was my favorite spot as a small child. Uh, I always wanted to go up there when I visited Berlin with my grandfather and we went up to the cafe uh, which was rotating and we had a lemonade while enjoying the 360 view of the city. Club culture in Berlin is different than anywhere else in the world because there are much less rules. The parties last from Monday to Sunday and you can never go home practically. You can just go from club to club and not stop clubbing. People from all over the world come to Berlin and they just can't believe their luck. They're so used to clubs closing at 2 a.m., strict alcohol rules and regulations, lots of security, extremely high prices. They're used to being treated like consumers. And in Berlin, it's just an aura of freedom and anything goes. Yeah. 